Hey there, good morning. I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero with an update on Tropical Storm Elsa. So this is the most recent information we've seen from the National Hurricane Center. You see that track there, it's expected to move over Cuba throughout the day today. And a closer look at southeastern Georgia and North Florida. The cone of uncertainty is still pretty wide with this storm system. It still has a pretty uh, large swath of where this storm could go. So we don't have complete certainty on the exact path that this system will take, but timing-wise, it looks like we could potentially see some impacts as early as about Tuesday night carrying over into the day on Wednesday. Early morning Wednesday uh, will be when we can potentially see that heavy rainfall and the gustiest winds. And those are the two things we're going to keep a close eye on. Heavy rainfall, let's talk about that. We saw a lot of rain for the month of June and we've already seen quite a bit of rain for the month of July as well. With the additional rain we could be seeing from Tropical Storm Elsa, uh, we are probably going to have to talk about a flood threat as we head towards the end of the week. So start thinking now about those low-lying areas that you know uh, in your town. We always tell you, turn around, don't drown. We're also going to talk about those winds. Winds within the storms, uh, potentially up to about 60 miles per hour. A few severe thunderstorms are possible, maybe an isolated tornado as well. All right, these are our spaghetti plots for this morning. And you can see we still have an outlier, but notice these, uh, these lines are starting to uh, get into agreement a little bit more. When they all get into a similar path, that's when we can start to have a little bit more confidence in our forecast. Now here's the big picture, what you got to know. We are expecting this storm to slow down pretty significantly as it moves over Cuba and lose uh, quite a bit of its strength. Now the earliest we could see impacts for the state of Florida, that's going to be by Monday and it's only going to be for the southern portions of our state.